Hey, this is Aaron with Simple Ticks. We've just recently added support for smartwaiver.com built into Simple Ticks. So basically, if you have an event where you have a waiver, you need people to sign it, you can do it directly through Simple Ticks. So as soon as the order is complete, each attendee will get a link where they can fill out the waiver and they can sign it. They can even upload a COVID vaccination card if you require that for your event. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So the very first step was going to smartwaiver.com and clicking try it free just to get a free account. And I'm currently logged into that free account in this tab. So what I will do is I will go over to SimpleTix Manager Panel, which is manager.simpletix.com. I will go over to settings and I will choose um, plugins and I'll click SmartWaiver. So this is the official um, plugins page for SmartWaiver inside of SimpleTix. And what I need to do now is copy in my API key. So I'm gonna go back to SmartWaiver. And when you're inside of SmartWaiver, click My Account, and then click API Keys. And you're gonna to have to generate a new API key. And I believe when, as soon as you get it, you'll never ever see it again. So make sure you save it somewhere safe, like LastPass or 1Password, one of those tools. Um, so I'm gonna click Create API Key now. And I'm gonna give it a name, like, you know, SimpleTix key. That way I know this key is strictly for SimpleTix. And I will click Create API Key. And I'm gonna copy it now. I'll click Copy Key here. And I'm gonna paste it right in here in the manager side of SimpleTix. Let me just verify it's the same one. Yep, so I have it. And I'll never see it again. If you need to see it again because you missed it, just delete it and create a fresh new one if you ever lose it. Um, but at this point, it's there. And I will also choose this option right here. Yeah, I'll choose this option as well too. All right, so let's create our first waiver. So I'm gonna go in here and click Create Edit Waivers. And um, we're gonna create a new waiver right now. So to create your first waiver, choose the option here to create a new waiver template, and then click I understand. And this is gonna take you to the back end where you sort of build out your waiver. So I'll do some obvious things in here, like I'll, I believe I'll drop in a title, and I will say, um, what kind of an event is this gonna be? Let's say it's a paintball event. So I'll say paint, ball um, liability. So basically in our scenario right now, we're gonna create like a, a paintball event where people sort of pay for time to entry ticketing for a paintball event. And when you um, sign up for it, you have to sign a waiver. And what I'll show you in this video is um, when people sign the waiver, how you'll see it on the back end on the attendee list that they signed it or not. And um, yeah, so let's continue right now with, with, our, um, with our demo. So we have a waiver title, header, it's good enough. If I want to upload a logo, I can, I can put a logo in here as well. So you can sort of make it look like more like your brand. So here's like a simple six logo I'll upload. And this is the body text. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the body here where it actually has the, the text of the waiver. And I'm gonna paste in some sample text. All right, so I'll paste that text in there. I'll click close. And um, I believe that's it for now. Um, if I want to click my color scheme, I believe I can do the color scheme as, as, as well. Um, but it has basic information at this point. It has my logo, the text of the waiver, first name and last name, um, phone number, date of birth, uh, signature area. So it's all there. Um, this is just our, our just a demo right now. So I'll click done. And I'll click publish waiver. And I'll go to publish waiver again. All right, so now it's fully published. Cool. Um, let's make sure that we gave that a name. Yeah, Paintball Liability Waiver. So go to Waiver List again right here. I can see Paintball Liability Waiver. This one right here, I think I clicked the wrong thing and I generated it. I don't see an, a delete button anywhere in the platform. Oh, there's an archive. You can archive it if you don't want it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll archive that test one that I made uh, when I clicked the wrong thing. So we have one waiver right now. Um, if I want to preview it right now, I can hit the preview button to see what it looks like. And pretty much this is the waiver right here. I'll say I have an adult, this is for me, and basically that's the flow of it. Um, good enough for now, just our demo right now. So what I'll do is I will jump back to the manager panel and I'll say for, you know, for one particular event, we need this waiver. So I will click edit, go to events, and let's go with um, Penny's Pumpkin Farm. Let's say we're doing paintball at it all of a sudden. And when I scroll down here, I now see Smart Waiver Template. So I'll click here and I see Paintball Liability Waiver. Awesome. So I will click Save Now. And basically we've created our waiver, we've connected our event to the waiver. That was part one. 
Now part two is actually buying a ticket to see what it looks like. So I'll go over to dashboard and I will copy the link to this event and I will go to the event page right now. And um, it's a free event. So th these work with free events or paid events. It doesn't really matter if it's free or paid. And um, I'll click any date in the future and I'll get two tickets. Um, actually, let's just do one ticket for now. I'll get one ticket. I'll click checkout. And I'll just kind of you know, blow past this screen right here. I'll click purchase. Even though it's free, um, we're checking out. So at this point, now I'll check my email to see what it looks like. All right, so um, I just got the email and it says right here that um, I have to open this link right here and sign the waiver. Um, so I can see it right here. What I'll do is I'll open this up in incognito mode. I'm using incognito mode because I'm already logged into Smart Waiver in my other browser, so I don't want there to be any kind of a conflict in case there is. And the really nice thing is you'll notice it's pre-filled with all the information from the Simple Text checkout, like first name and last name. Middle name looks like it's not required. There's no asterisk there. But date of birth, um, this is a required field. And um, it knows that that year is too young to be an adult, so I'll go with a different one. I'll go with the signature here. And you can see you can draw the signature. I'll hit accept. Now this is doable also on the smartphone too. If someone doesn't have a desktop computer like I am right now, you can do all this on the smartphone. Um, I'll make another video where I do that. But here, um, before I click agree to this document, let's take a look at how the manager appears before you do it. So um, I'm gonna go to orders right now and see the order that I just made. And um, here it is. And this was for Penny's Pumpkin Farm. Um, the 22nd at 10 a.m. So um, there's no information about the waiver on this particular screen. We might be adding it soon. Um, actually, I take it back, there is. Um, when you go to admission details, you can see that the smart waiver link. And basically this is the link for somebody to fill out to do the waiver. Um, what I wanna do first is go over to events and show the attendee list. So over here is the attendee list for this particular event, um, attendee list. And we do the 22nd at 10 a.m. This is it right here. So you can see that this is the link for the waiver. So if I didn't um, fill it out, if I click on this, it'll put it in my clipboard and um, I'll go incognito again and paste it in. But basically it could take somebody straight to the page to fill it out. So if somebody didn't get the waiver, didn't do it, you're just one click away from giving it to them. So I'll go ahead and close this browser. Um, all right, so here's the waiver. I'm gonna go ahead and agree to it right now. And I'm done. Um, no one else needs to sign it. Click the link below to complete your document. Okay. And that's it. So now it's done. So now when I go back to the simple text side, this is the attendee list. If I refresh this attendee list, I will now get a confirmation that I filled it out. And you can see here, there's a check mark and I hover over it, it says document signed. And if I go over to the order details, um, admission details, I also see that it was signed too. So we have verification that they signed it. Um, in our event organizer app, um, by May 2022, we will be adding that check mark also in the, in the event organizer app. So you can see who signed it and who didn't sign it. So if somebody forgot to sign the waiver, because you can tell right away in the event organizer app, you can just give them a paper waiver, set them aside and make them fill out that paper because they didn't do it online. Um, and what we'll be also adding in Simple Six is the ability to do reminders for people that didn't do the waiver. So if you go over to email attendees for this particular time, if you only want to email people that did not do the waiver, um, we will do like an email blast template for just those people. That way you can remind people the day of the event. You didn't do the waiver, here's a link. Um, so thanks for watching our videos today on how to use Civil Six with Smart Waiver. We just did the integration. Um, it works fully, um, but we're gonna be improving it to make it even better for you. If you have any questions, um, please leave a comment down below and um, reread all the comments and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, bye now.